How's it going everyone? In this video I'm going to show you how you can make a glass effect in Photoshop. So we'll start by duplicating our design layer. Just rename it glass. Next we'll add a shape. You can use a custom shape using the pen tool. The effects will work the same. So draw out your shape. And then just set the fill to white and no stroke. Select your ellipse layer, put it underneath the glass layer, and then hover your mouse between the two layers. Hold Alt and click. This will clip the glass layer inside of the ellipse shape or whatever shape you've drawn. Next, we'll add a bevel and emboss. So go to the effects tab, bevel and emboss with your ellipse layer selected. This will add a highlight and a shadow to the edge to add a little bit of definition. These are the settings I've got here. Um, you can adjust the harshness of your highlights and shadows here and also change the depth of how harsh the edge your shape is and then the size if you want it to be smoothed out. And you can also soften in that there but I'll just leave it like that for now next we'll add a gradient overlay so under when you click on the gradient just go to basics and then a black and white gradient and if you just shift the white to the center and then have a black on either side and go OK and set the blend mode to screen you can change the opacity of how bright you want the gradient to be across the shape this is just some added glare as if there is reflection on the surface you can change the angle as well so whichever direction your glare is hitting the shape we'll just leave it like that for now next select your glass layer right click and convert to smart object this will allow us to apply some effects to it and easily change the look of the background layer so we'll add some blur so we'll go filter blur Gaussian blur we'll just add a slight blur so you can still see the design below you can change this to however you like your effect to look next we'll go to filter filter gallery and then under the distort tab there's a glass option uh, you can change the texture here but for this one we'll use frosted just want a slight texture so I'll just bring the scaling down and I think where the distortion was was pretty good so just like that so here you can see we've had a little bit of texture and some blur Next we'll add a little bit of noise, so go filter, noise, add noise, make sure monochromatic is selected, we'll use Gaussian so it's a bit more random than the uniform. And just a slight amount of noise to add a little bit of realism. Then uh, select your ellipse layer um, and what next we'll add is an outer glow, this will give a glow effect around the edges as if the design behind is hitting the opposite side of the glass so go to the uh, effects tab and then outer glow set the color to white uh, usually quite a low opacity you can add a little bit of noise if you like uh, increase the spread a little bit and a little bit of size and it'll just add a subtle effect around the outside of your shape you can see here go okay and there you go there's a glass effect 